and welcome back to Ark, where today, guys, we're going to be working on the farms more. Now, for starters, I do got gotchas here ready to go for the gotcha farms. Now, I am only going to be doing four gotchas. There's a very specific reason for that. And that is the fact that I can choose out of every single last option of stuff for them to produce for me. As you can see. Then I can go over here. Crystal, Silk Pros, all that. Uh, then I got Uncommon, Obsidian, Organic Polymer, Black Pearls. Then I got Rare, Element Dust, then Very Rare, Element Shards, or all this. So, this is a lot. So, what I got here is some gotchas. Gotcha Gavengers from S plus and basically what these do is they make it so that way you can have gotchas right next to each other if they're the same gender I know right now here is a very bad example because they're both they're they're mate boosted they're opposite genders but if I click start feeding all of a sudden you see there's a there's a shield and uh, all that do I need to give you actual like I need to actually figure out how to run these as well I do believe I have to give them stone and owl pellets um, but I might also be able to automate the owl pellets by just putting owls in front of them. And that might be what we do. So, hit start on that. And then, boom. As you guys can see, they're happy. They're smiling. Um, now, for production, what I need is none of that. Uh, we're good without any of this, right? Yeah. Uh, what I could use... Black pearls would be epic. Okay. Is that what you will produce? Hold up, let me get some stone. And I've given them some stone, and as you can see here, it is working. They are growing crystals on their back. This guy got two of them popping up right now. This one here I've put on to metal. So this guy should produce metal crystals, and he's got three, three. Do you have three? Do you got another one on the side hidden from me? Oh, yes, you do. Alrighty, my gotchas are working. Alright, perfect. I also do got some new parts of the base I would like to show you guys, but we're going to get this uh, <clears throat> done first. We're going to get these guys all set up. Then I'll get on to showing you guys what I've done to the base. And then, I do believe we're going to try and get an Akatina farm today. And maybe the poop set up. Because I need to start getting actual vegetables going. Because I do actually need kibble now for going into the desert. So, I'm going to be full honest with you guys. I really have no clue what I'm doing here. And oh my god, it's falling off. <laughs> Just seeing the crystal fall. Oh no. Um, I might, oh yeah, no, I could do something about that. Um, I don't know if tech railing is actually going to work. I guess we'll find out. Oh, it looks like it did. Here, these are just going to be a barrier to keep you guys from throwing those off the edge. Unfortunately, this one won't work. Shoot. Here, let's do it over here on this one as well. It just seemed like they were coming off with a little heat. And I know this doesn't look very proper. But honestly, it is the best I can do right now. Right? That's about what I want. Looks like I want one more. I think this guy should be fine. Here, I'll go pick up this railing so that way it just looks, looks even. That back railing there is just to help keep these guys from losing their crystals. Now, this guy is set to element shards, so that way they're basically making me bow ammo. And then this one is set to production any in the uncommon list. So it'll produce me crystal, silica pearls, oil, blue crystallized sap, uh, gas balls, clay. That's the one I really kind of wanted, but I also want a crystal. I don't know if I can just select those two, you know? I wish there was. But yeah, we're going to be making basically any of this. Nope. Uh, production. Any. Thank you. 
Okay, now I said I got new parts of the base I want to show you guys. And well, first area is down here. And what that is, is you may see a tech bridge and a new platform. But first off, it is the new cryo fridge area. So I did start organizing it based off of the color of the cryo fridge, really. So black here is the no, uh, no breedable. We have to clone them. These are clone only, so it's the queen bee and the queen ants. Then we also got the cryo fridge here for carnivores. This one here is for flyers, and this one here is for herbivores. Now, I do might have minor changes that need to happen between all those ones. But this one here is the aquatic. So these are all creatures that have to have water to breed, I believe. Um... I don't believe I've left any in here. Uh, no. These also do have all the variants, like the aberrant ones in there. Then we have all the ones from other maps, such as the Dinosuchus and the Desmodus. I just said Dinosuchus. I'm disappointed in myself. I got their name wrong. Then over here, we got, of course, the Arc Editions. And you got the Ceratosaurus and the Acro, of course. Do I not have my Scorched Acros? Hold up. Where's my Scorched Acros? You guys in here? Hold up. Like, seriously, where's my Scorched Acros? Acro. No, no. You're not in here. Are you? Yeah, you are. I'm just an idiot. There we go. And it's organized. Then, of course, you guys saw the Scorched Earth. And you might notice here we got oil jug bugs, and we also have the aberrant oil jug bugs, and the water jug bugs, and their aberrant variants, of course. Then the aberrant death worms. Right. We just have the variants with us. Then over here, we got ourselves, of course, aberration. Now, these are all the ones that we can breed, of course. We even got the Reaper Queen in here. Now, I could throw that one over in the clone only, but this one does technically reproduce, quote on coat. And then, of course, we got Extinction here that we are working on. Now, starting off here, you may notice here I've somewhat tried to organize the landing pad. Uh, I believe I, yeah, I left Frost over there because I'm going to get me more Wyverns. And I got me Gunner and Rock Drake over here and Mumu. But you might notice we're missing some we're missing some flyers. Well, if we come up here, you know, we go right past the garden, which we we still haven't finished again. We have to get a, ourselves a hoop farm going today. We'll come up here into the armory, which I thought was a really nice touch. Um, I don't know if we're gonna do trophies on this wall. If we can, I might have to do a little tricky thing like I did with that, and I'll talk about that here in a minute. But of course, I got me some four loadouts. I decided let's go with four loadouts, one for each map. And of course, by that, I mean we're going to have a tech loadout, a hazmat loadout, a scorched earth loadout, and I guess just an island loadout. But then up here, I've all, I completely forgot about that. Don't pay attention to that. Then over here, I decided, you know what? I want a nice little place for me to throw some shoulder pets. So that way I have storage for my personal so shoulder pets. So I will be working on getting me personal shoulder pets to have over in there. Which is going to be awesome. Now if we come up here though. We got the nice penthouse with nothing built in it yet. But we got a nice back area over here. And we got a nice little over here. I thought it would be kind of nice to have another bathroom again. Uh, like you know how we had in the old tree house. Just, just a nice little decorative thing. I don't know what we'll do down here. We might do the trophy area either down here in this area. Or we might even throw up more armor stands for the... What is it? For the, some of the Joker. Was it the big outfit ones. Those skins. Like the monkey and the T-Rex. But then if you come up the stairs here and over here. Not much over here. But then we get to the floating landing pad for the small flyers. Now, as you guys can see here, I got Archie up here and I got my Desmodus. 
this guy needs name. Please name him. Uh, I've already thought of one name, but it's kind of stupid. Didn't think it would last or stick that well. But as you guys can see, this is like a complete glass floor below us. So it's kind of like a, what is it? An illusion, you know? You just got the railing to kind of show you where everything is. But then over here, we got not much. Uh, just, yeah, where I want to kind of put my bed. I guess we can kind of decorate it up. Uh, maybe get a potted plant. But in terms of making a cementing paste farm and a poop farm, I think we're going to do the cementing paste somewhere in here, if I can. Alright, uh, I think I can go with that. I can work with that. It's just... Yeah, no, we can totally work with this. I'm fine with that completely. So we're just going to kind of mimic the one that we did on Aberration just in tech. Okay, so I do got a good start going so far. And it is looking somewhat like the one. I remember I put like pillars on every corner. So I did it again. That was a little pricey, I ain't going to lie. But before I get too far along here, I do want to go get my Akatina reproducing. Alrighty, and there they go. So I gotta remember to come back and check on those guys. And for you that are wondering if the mutton farm actually works. It does, I got a thousand mutton. Okay, I don't know why I did it, but I went and did with the windows again. And uh, they all open when you walk by them. So I need to turn those all off. Okay, guys, it is done. Again, it's nothing special. Okay, so I just realized I forgot to record the last part where I put this all down. Um, but yeah, I got my composting bins all ready to go. Set down. Let's go finish putting up the walls like I wanted. I'm just going to do these. Now, these for the love. Nope. Okay, and there we are. So... I just swapped them out for window walls. Like a so. And there we are. It is finished. This is our compost bins. And I guess this area of the farm is done. I need to keep on doing these live strips so that way these guys can get max level. So what we're going to do now is we're going to run up here into the kitchen. And I just figured we would put her down in here. Like so. Just so that way... Here. Do it better there we go put her there and then that way we can just get the veggies from the garden by running to her and she'll have all that stuff and then we will put you up here and there we go i'm scratching my head uh but yeah uh now i should just have to go get fertilizer going and then get these guys all seated hold up hold up I just had to go fix something, and I'm pretty sure it had gotcha crystals in it, right? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Collection options. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. No, you'll collect owl pellets, though. Oh my god, guys. Um, what was that? Why did it just sound like something tech got hit? Hold up, what's going on? Hold up, hold up, hold up. What is going on? Oh, God! Okay, okay, we're good. Um, the sky is falling. Oh. I didn't... Oh, I'm wondering if the... Yeah, no, look out there. The desert's not protected. But it looks like here in the city is... Okay. Like, see, there. That place just got hit. Oh, jeez. Okay. But anyways, um... We got the wrong things placed down. So, the video I just looked up, this guy has, like, a very complex tech storage system set up. Or, to me, it looks very complex. But apparently, this guy right here 
has a bigger brother that does basically the same thing, just better. Alright? So, collects and distributes many items and to many different things. This thing legit just says the poop. Alright? So, I believe I can get one of these things crafted up. Also, is the sky turning red as it's collapsing? Or is this like as close to sunset as we get? Is the sky collapsing? Okay. Here it is. Uh, I think... Let's just throw it right here for now. We'll activate it. Uh, let's just... Distribution options. Oh, okay, okay. Let's... How about this? Let's get this set up for now. Oh my god. This guy does so much more stuff that... Oh my god. Uh... Only power to... Okay, so let's do this. There's a crystal cracker. Oh, yeah, there's a crystal cracker. Alright, in all necessarity, I do want to keep going, but I also, like, out of viewpoint, this would be a very good time to take a break, go research this more and more, and get ready to do work on that, like, for the next video, you know? And get my, like, storage upgraded to beyond belief. <laughs>